guys and welcome back so today I'm gonna to be doing a little cleaning in the kitchen well a lot of cleaning in the kitchen let's let's not fake it <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a lot of cleaning in the kitchen now I may not get a lot of stuff done in the kitchen on film but I just wanted to show you guys that I really need to get it together in my kitchen I really need to get it, in it together in my house but anyways you guys let's get to cleaning the kitchen I guess I gotta get some stuff put up and then I gotta get some stuff taken down and put in the trash because it's been in my cabinets for a while um, and I am not going to be like donating old food and stuff like that so yeah enough of this jibber jabber top of top of <laughs> let's get to cleaning so come clean with me so you guys this is how the kitchen is looking trash can is pretty decent um, but look at my bar you guys it is just a hot mess okay and I gotta get these flowers out get some fall flowers and I'm probably gonna put some of those over here because that's looking a hot raggedy mess <laughs> I got some bags that I had bought some stuff from Walmart sitting on the cabinets and I'm gonna use this to put um, DIY for my oil for here so whenever I need oil I can just grab this and then I just need to put some stuff up take some stuff out of the cabinets and then um declutter my my lazy susan because she is really getting like a hot mess over there too many seasonings i'm gonna just try to um put it to where i have seasonings that um um that i use like most of the time and everything else can just go because i really don't use a lot of seasonings um and i use just seasons that i am adapt to I guess um, and most of the stuff I want to start putting my seasonings in here I am going to be DIYing these cabinets you guys because this is like an old condo so they still have like older colored brown colored cabinets I did get the okay from my um, rent office people and they were like okay so I'm gonna change out these first and this will happen all today you guys but um I will get to it and show you guys what I do um, and all the stuff that I have and buy and budgets wise but yeah some of this stuff got to come out the cabinet because I got to put some stuff in the cabinet these cabinets are so small over here I do have like my dishes so that I can grab whenever I'm cooking and stuff like that but I feel like these dishes should go over here because they're more closer to our stove so yeah but um, these are just dishes like when family and stuff come over. Um, me and Ashton normally eat with these little dishes that we got from Target. And then I got some nice glasses and stuff up there. My Holy Chick um, to-go bottle that I put like water and stuff in. But I never knew what these cabinets right here were for. I just don't know. I just put start stuff and stuff up there. You guys know what these cabinets are. The middle ones on top of the microwave. Let me know what I'm supposed to put there. Because I just put random things there. And then I do also have more cabinet space <laughs> behind the Walmart plates. Um, and they don't have anything in there. Only thing about me is that I'm 5'5". Five five. They cannot really reach way over there. So I feel like I should put like my like these kind of plates here over there have enough room for like food and stuff and then I have this big cabinet and but this will be like another video you guys but I have this full of all my stuff and I also have more bowls and stuff up there uh, I'm still trying to get to this cabinet you guys I just want to have a cabinet where I can focus I can reach in and grab what I need and not have anything falling down or anything like that so I really gotta declutter this cabinet um so it's a whole hot mess here if you can see I have so many cups for fall here and I know I need to declutter some of these cups um but yeah you guys that's why I need your help um and I've been looking on Pinterest for like some ideas and stuff so I really like I've been trying to find a kitchen that looks exactly like mine so that I can put everything where it needs to be exactly like that picture but I have not yet to find a picture on Pinterest but yeah um so yeah let's get to figuring out where we're gonna put all this stuff
because I feel it's more easier and it's going to be more easier to clean up than having it on the cabinet um, because that can be a whole hassle of a mess. Um, I purchased these at Target um, like a year back. I actually was going to donate these and then I thought about it. I was like, why am I donating these and I really, really need these and I don't want to spend more money on getting these and I really like the way that they are, that they are um, stone-like um, containers and it has like a little wooden top on it so they I can put them up out the way or I can leave them out for um, cooking purpose um, but I really don't use like the white sugar a lot and I don't use flour a lot if that makes any sense but I do want to have each one of these on hand just in case I have a recipe that I really need it for um, and when I like baked chicken um, or I do fried chicken then I will definitely will use one of these but I haven't really been like into fried chicken I've been doing like a whole lot of baked chicken lately and then this I normally use for like tea and stuff like that but I have switched over to another sugar um, once I do get a whole packet of that I will definitely um, dispose of this one um, and I'm just trying to find more healthy options than granulated sugar um, but until then um, I'm going to um, put this in there in the flour um, and then put them up. Now, I did have a whole lot of sugar and a whole lot of flour left, so I'm going to take it to my mom because she says she will take it because she's going to use it. Um, but this is what I want to show you that, I mean, it doesn't, like, putting your uh, sugar containers and flour containers in the, in the sink makes it easier for you to clean up. All you have to do is turn on your water, spray your sink down, and you have a easy clean up. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to show you guys that and so yeah, let's get back to cleaning. Standing at the door, I'm on the way A million things I guess that I should say was trying to open this so I can take some of them out this is from Dollar Tree and I guess that you cannot take the top off of it so that you can refill them because I had like a whole bunch of um, peppercorns well I had until I went over here with them 
Oh my gosh, it's like all over the floor. Big puddle right there. <sighs> yeah, this is this is what cleaning get you. <laughs> I was like, you know what, since I can't put them inside of there and I can't get the top open, there's no need for me to keep it. So I was putting it in the trash. Um, well, open it to put it in the trash. Um, pour the peppercorns in the trash and yeah she had a whole whole mess going on here so hopefully when I come back it'll be all up let go of all my heavy load I waited for the moment to unfold nobody's gone Yeah, the peppercorns came back out of my cordless vacuum, and we have an even bigger mess. So I think I'll just sweep it up instead of vacuuming it. Like, uh, Mom was having some problems this morning. <laughs> really? 